Hey, welcome back to Diecast Cars. So today we got this in the mail, the Hot Wheels Car Culture Premium Box Set with Teen Transports as well as Car Culture releases from 2022. And to make it even better, guys, it's the one that everybody was anticipating. Two out of four. And if you know your car culture release states, it is the premium box set that does feature the Liberty Walk, Nissan Skyline, ER34 Chase. Guys, this thing is a myth, a legend. I mean, it's a unicorn that nobody ever thinks that they're gonna get a hand on. And I got super lucky basically buying it blind off of walmart.com the listing on walmart actually shows set one of four right and that would be the corvette cedar chase as well as the mercedes chase so this is the box that everybody wants from 2022 you got the er34 chase as well as the lamborghini ascenza essentially the two best car culture sets for 2022 and we're gonna crack this open talk about the values of this which you guys can guess right now are gonna be through the roof versus the retail cost of this box which on the site right now is selling for about $140 after shipping it came out to exactly 150 so without further ado let's get this thing cracked open and check out the contents inside all right so got the box open and inside you'll find two sleeves where there will be the car culture premiums and then one big box i'm guessing this is where the 14 transports are in so let's get this first box open up first all right so this first box we got exotic envy so there's the 94 bugatti eb 110 and i'm seeing some blister material already so must mean I have a broken blister fingers crossed it's not the chase piece because that would be unfortunate so there it is Lamborghini Ascenza SC V12 chase piece all in black blister looks intact so wonder what that little piece of plastic is from looks like the main version of the Ascenza looks fine as well too obviously the allure to it it's a first release of the ascenza it's lamborghini it's exotic and in this premium release it does come in a spectra flame die cash green so we definitely love the color green on this channel and it looks really good really sinister in both the green and the black so that's pretty awesome you got the koenigsegg agera r the alfa romeo and the previously mentioned Bugatti EB110. I think we're actually missing one. So let me see, maybe this is the car that has the busted blister and there it is. The McLaren Speedtail, again, super unfortunate, but pretty sweet. My first premium car culture box set. So I guess one thing to look out for guys is that there could potentially be damage in these it looks like some of the heavier cast they're taking more precaution with it so you can see the ascenza here it does have this separate piece of plastic inside to kind of keep the car situated keeping it from shifting and reducing the damage so very grateful for that mattel so on to mountain drifters which is what i suspect is in this sleeve right here so same process as last time and again, hopefully no broken blister pieces fall out as I shake these cars out. But there you go. You got the NSX. That's a good sign. It's the right set at least. Oh boy, cars are just going to spill out on me here. Man, there it is. Awesome looking chase piece. And you guys know my stance on this. I still do feel like these chase pieces just being an enamel black they are pretty boring but again there's a lot of significance around this car being a first release in premium car culture 
the first year that we have seen premium car culture chase pieces and it just so happens to be a rendition of the Nissan Skyline R34 which undeniably one of the most popular casts right now but the rest of the set is also pretty awesome you got the 3000 GT VR4 in blue A86 with a little anime action you got the regular car culture super silhouette ER34 another first release here the Celica GT4 in this off yellow and then the Acura well actually Honda NSX type bar so this is a legit one from Japan it does have right hand drive inside as well too probably the most appropriate Acura sorry Honda NSX type bar to be released by Hot Wheels just given the black top and the white body also looks great with these white 10 spokes so again we've talked about the mountain drifter set to an extent you guys saw me do the 17 box unopening and you guys know that me and my buddies completely struck out when it came to finding this chase piece so it just feels good to be able to pick up this car culture premium box set off walmart for essentially retail i mean 150 dollars i haven't done the math to see how much that is per car but just knowing the secondary market value of this er34 chase i mean it is so worth it and in all honesty 17 boxes later long overdue and then this last box it's got to be the team transports so what's also interesting about this box number two is that i think it's the only one that gets four team transports starting off with this amc rebel machine and then over here you got porsche 917 lh and the sakura sprinter with the lancia stratos group five and as I was saying, box number two, Car Culture Premium Set 204, is the only one that you get a 4 of Team Transport, and that is the Legends Tour Custom 70 Chevy Nova with the Horizon Hauler. So again, this during the Legends Tour events, you could purchase this right off of the Walmart website. And I feel like it was fairly saturated to the point where these aren't commanding a lot on the secondary market. I mean, they're pretty much retail price right now, right around that $25 to $30 price point. So I am literally blown away by the sheer amount of value and just awesome releases, chase pieces of that that you get out of this box. I mean, unbelievable. The best premium car culture factory set to be released for 2022 and 2022 being the first year the Hot Wheels and Walmart has offered something like this. My one gripe with this whole set is that there is no indication on these cards that say they were from these exclusive premium box sets. Not like the mini sets in the past that were also offered on Walmart where you got the little factory sealed sticker. I mean they've literally gone away with that but after a little bit of looking into these cars and comparing to the ones that I have again this is the one that I found out of my 10 count box this is the one out of the premium factory sealed box they look identical from the front but if you flip them over you'll see that the sets are different sizes so again the 10 count box version it's a lot larger I know just looking at some of my other Mountain Drifter cars that I found on the pegs. The variation is a lot like the one here on the left. And just in these premium car culture factory sealed box sets is where you'll see the set of five cars on the back of the card. Very minimized, a lot smaller, and it seems to be a couple of different languages here on the back of the card. So this may be the international version of this card, but nonetheless, I have never seen a card variation on the back side for premium car culture before so that's pretty interesting I don't know how well known it is but 
pretty awesome. I mean, given that this car right now sells for about 250 to 270, and knowing that there is a card variation, albeit very insignificant in just the back side of the card, it's still a card variation. I wonder, from a value standpoint, what this would command. I mean, is it an instant $300 value? given that the regular card chase is already 270. And the other question is how rare are these box sets? And I have checked back since I purchased this and I have not seen this come back in restock. So I think it's fair to say that they're out of stock now. And does that mean that premium factory seal car culture box sets, box number two is completely gone meaning all of these card variations are also gone. And if that's the case, again, unverified, I'm completely just speculating here. Does that make this card variation super valuable? But nonetheless, it's just cool to see that we do have a card variation for a very popular and sought after Hot Wheels car culture premium that's already very, very overhyped. I mean, this is only going to add more fuel to the fire, guys. But while we're on the topic, let's just talk about the values of these cars. So again, as mentioned, this Liberty Walk ER34 Super Silhouette Nissan Skyline car culture chase piece. Crazy mouthful there. But this is currently selling right now. Latest comps is around $270, which is extreme, guys. I never anticipated that this chase piece would ever reach those heights, but that is extraordinary. I mean, 2022 was the first year that Hot Wheels introduced chase pieces. This is a Nissan Skyline. Nissan Skylines are definitely one of the hottest casts that is trending right now. So it totally makes sense. But I mean, this one car pays for this $150 box set right off the bat. Then you got the Ascenza Chase from Exotic Envies. This is currently right now selling for about $80 to $90. As we talked about earlier, this Legends Tour Nova Custom currently right now selling for about $25 to $30. And then believe it or not, the ER34 regular premium as well as the Lamborghini Ascenza with the Spectre Flame green paint, they both sell for around $15 to $20. So these two chase pieces alone already make up $360 where this box only costs $150. I mean, that is essentially 140% profit on this box. Plus, you have the rest of the cars out of the car culture sets. You have the rest of the team transports as well as these two regular versions of the chase. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, you're, you're basically talking upwards of 200% gains on a $150 car culture factory sealed box. I mean, unbelievable value. Hopefully you were able to get one. If not, I recommend you go and check it out on Walmart right now. And not only this box, but in all honesty, I mean, box one, which I miss, definitely has value well above the retail price. I mean, box three, I would imagine that is on its way to us as well, as well as the final box for 2022. A lot of good car culture sets from 2022. So you still have Ronin Run, as well as Drag Strip Demons, Auto Strassi, the Jay Leno set, on and on and on. So definitely keep a lookout, walmart.com. For these premium car culture box sets that's what i got for you guys today like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time on die cash cars